Uh, my most recent uh, lollipop moment actually has everything to do with the students that I worked with uh, at the University of Toronto Scarborough. The, the very fact I'm at TED has everything to do with a lollipop moment because when it became apparent that this the TEDx was going on, a, a bunch of students came in and said, "You really have got to you've got to apply for this. You've got to go and, and be a TED speaker because." It's no secret to them that being a TED speaker was uh, something that I, you know, was on my list of things to do before I die. I've got a book of them, and uh, they're like, "We know this, so you got to apply to be a part of TED." And I was just like, I did exactly what I tell people not to do in my presentations. I was just like, "I'm not there yet. I'm not ready yet. You know, maybe one day I could be that good a speaker." And they would have none of it. And I went into my class. I'd go into my office, and my whiteboard would be covered with. Um, you know, pictures of me at TED. It was like Drew, Malcolm Gladwell, TED, and a big arrow. And they kept pushing, and I and I kept saying I'm not going to do it. And then one day I walked in, and they had uh, this is Sydney the Penguin who was on stage with me, and there was a Drew is awesome, the official Drew at TED T-shirt was sitting on my desk. And uh, as soon as I saw that, I was like, you know what, I've got to do this. And uh, so my students, and if you ask them now, they'd probably still say that I'm the leader and and they're the followers, and they couldn't be more wrong because this has been such an amazing experience all day and the only reason I'm here is because they wouldn't stop pushing and they set up a, a Facebook uh, page to get people to encourage me to go and to get the um, selection committee to encourage them to select me so they were amazing and the only reason I'm here is because of that and uh, it's been such a, a moment that really is powerful beyond measure for me all day and I'm so grateful for it and that's why actually I, I didn't have time to talk about it guys but that's why I took Sydney up there so that all of them uh, probably recognized him and knew that that was my little tribute to all the students who played such a big role in, in getting me to come and do this. Who is my leadership inspiration? That's always a tough question because I don't think there's one. And because I'm always hesitant to pick someone from like the traditional leadership realm because I, one of the things I really try to get people to do is realize that leadership isn't just titles and power and influence. So if you go out and you say one of you know my heroes is, is Bobby Kennedy, but I don't want people to think that again that's sort of the only type of leadership that matters. So, Really, if I had to pick someone like that, I, I've always admired Bobby Kennedy, particularly some of the, um, the oratory that comes from there. Uh, believe it or not, Muhammad Ali has always been somebody who I've always looked up to, just in terms of strength of conviction and ability to believe in oneself. I mean, that's, he's a man who certainly never had a problem with that. But really, on an everyday basis, it's the students I get to work with. And I'm, I know that sounds cheeseball, but the idea of getting of people listening to you for, you know, for there it was six minutes, and other days it's an hour, and people coming up and saying that mattered. I mean, there's no more inspiration, I think, than people telling you that what you do is having an impact. And I mean, if we talk about leadership as helping people move forward, every time somebody walks up and says, you know, that really mattered to me, or this is how I want to be, or, the, or now I want to do more because of, uh, of working with you, that pushes me to want to do more and to be better. Because for me, there is nothing more valuable than people's time. And it's the biggest gift that you have. And so every time people, share it with me for me it's one of the, the truly great um, one of the truly great gifts you can be given and I always just want to try to live up to it so the fact that people keep giving me the opportunity to do this to talk and, and to listen and to work with them to me is an unbelievable inspiration because I never want to let them down and that's always what's inspired me in terms of who's my leadership inspiration it's people who want to get better people who walk up and say here's what I did and here's how I want to do even more and how can you not listen to young passionate people do that and not want to be more yourself right